Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix on the PS3. Last time, we uh, were here in the Coliseum where we did the Pegasus Cup, and we got the uh, the regular version and the solo version done, but we couldn't do enough damage to knock out the uh, time trial because, well, Leon and Yuffie both have a fair amount of HP. So we'll come back for that later, but no big deal. Like I said, for this one, you only get a, a dark matter out of it. Uh, let me see here. I think the next one you get a much better reward for it. And where is it? Yeah, the next cup you get a better reward. Uh, actually, you get a really good reward for the next one just for beating the original one. Actually, the next one has good rewards for all three, actually. Okay, anyways. Um, enough dilly-dallying here in the Coliseum. Let's go hurt some gummy ship uh, paths to two new worlds, one of which we're going to be doing. And we're probably going to be doing the more annoying of the two, unfortunately, because that's what we have to do. I mean, I guess we could go to uh, the easier one right here. But let's start off by going here. I forget which one is the level 5 world, now that I think about it. Oh well. By the way, um, the stop spell that we have, you can actually upgrade that to stop Ra if you go do the, um, if you go do everything you can right now in the, uh, the book in Merlin's study. And if you finish, uh, like all the lost pages you have right now, uh, you'll get the stop for a spell. I'm gonna go ahead and wait till after we do these two worlds right here, because these two worlds give us the last uh, torn pages, and then we can just uh, do them all at once. But if you want to go do them now, you can. And like I said, that world does give you a lot of good stuff. It gives you uh, like AP ups and strength ups, and um, you actually get Sora's cheer ability out of it. So that's also very nice. All right, let's just cover stuff in. Let's go. Okay, you guys have a lot of HP, surprisingly. I don't know why, you just do. Uh, you know what, screw you guys. Um, there you go. By the way, um, even if even if you're not charging a course to Monstro, he can still show up and interrupt your path uh, just randomly. At least he could in the PS2 version. I don't think they changed that in here. It's just he now has a set location to go to. But I know that... I've heard that he does still that, does still do that, and it can really screw up your gummy missions if you're trying to get him because he'll randomly show up when you're in the middle of trying to do him and just swallow your ass, and that's not good. Because if he decides to swallow you, I don't think there's anything you can do about it, like at all. And I don't think there's really any way to tell if he's going to show up or not. If he shows up, that sucks for you. If he doesn't, look, well, you got lucky. I love having these four thunders right here. I might get rid of... I might, I might just get rid of the damn uh, thundars because, well, they're not really all that useful in my opinion. The regular thunders are just much better. If the Thund if I could, if I could get the Thundars to actually um, once was gonna let's go before it comes back if I could actually get the Thundars positioned properly so they actually didn't shoot off the sides of the screen that'd be awesome but I'm not sure exactly how to position it like that so I'm just not gonna worry about it all right so yeah Monstro is not here at the moment which is good but like I said he can show up uh, just just for the heck of it I am kind of I am glad that they. Uh, that they made it so you could just uh, just warp directly to them. Uh, are you guys gonna die? No. I guess those guys have a lot of HP. Now, I don't think I have any lasers here, do I? No. I don't think I did. So yeah, the th the thunder the thunder cannon is really just the best overall cannon, simply for the fact that it has the. Uh, the best, uh, well, everything. 
Alright, so here's our new world, and I thought this was going to be, uh... Actually, what battle level is this? Is this the one we need to go to or not? This is... Oh, okay, it's not the one. Okay, so yeah. The annoying one is battle level 5. And we're just going to go ahead and do that in order. Um, just because we're going to get a... We're going to get a spell upgrade in there. And I think we get one here, too. Let me... Let me see, because if this one actually has the worthwhile spell upgrade, I'll do it. Um... trying to decide here man let's just go over here and get this out of the way but there we go Halloween town yeah this is this is actually uh, pretty much pretty much one of everybody's favorite levels it's just got good atmosphere good music uh, you get a uh, visual cost you get a visual change in your costumes you also get a visual change in your costumes here but uh, this is just a fun world right here let me see uh, gummy missions Let's see what the missions for here look like. Collect 20 or more power blocks. That doesn't seem too hard. Okay. Um, Agrabah, I don't care. Alright, so let's just head off for here. Yeah, both of these worlds are going to have a torn page, so we're going to finally have all of them that we can do the, uh, the book. I mean, you can do them... You can do them as you get them, but uh, I'm just going to wait. That would be just knock them all out at once. By the way, uh, that that book has a lot of mini games, and we're going to have to do them for uh, the secret movie on normal. But again, they're worth doing on any mode just because you get good rewards out of it. Okay, this is a lot of stuff to kill here. Or seems like it is, at least. You know, I think I might just take off the damn extra... extra, um... engine, since, since it's making me go way too fast. And I'm constantly just breaking to... collect everything anyways. And damn, that's a pretty... good score for barely being... And that thing has a ton of, uh... thunders on it, apparently. Feel free to drop your blueprints, especially that big guy that I, that I fought. Unless he already, unless he already dropped it, and I just didn't notice it. Ah, that was a blueprint right there, wasn't it? Yeah, I missed it. Oh well. No? No blueprints? Oh well. How about you? Yes! Okay, I got the death guys. Very nice. I do want that big fortress if you want. Alright, here's our next world that we're going to be doing. Which is probably the least favorite world out of a lot of people. Atlantica. It's uh, a swimming world. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Underwater controls. Alright, let me just see what the gummy mission here is for Mr. Atlantica here. Let's see. Click 10 or more armor blocks. That's not too bad, I guess. Alright, let's just go ahead and... Uh... Actually, you know what? Um... Yeah, screw it. Let's go. Okay, guys, prepare for landing. And where? In the sea? We'll drown. Not with my magic. We won't. Just leave it to me.
Sebastian? Ariel, wait! Slow down! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> Relax, Sebastian. They don't look like one of them. Right, Flounder? I don't know. There's something weird about them. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Mm, they do seem... a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, oh, I see. In that case, Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel! King Triton will not like this! Oh, don't worry. Easy for you to say. Okay, it's time you learn how to swim properly. Yay. Anyway, I do I do like the little forms we got here. Sora's a uh, merman, but he seems to have... Uh, either a dolphin fin or a shark fin since he does have a uh, dorsal fin or not not a not a dark fin not, not a shark fin or a dolphin fin. he seems to have a, a shark tail or a dolphin tail since he does have the dorsal fin right there I'm gonna assume it's a dolphin because I don't think Donald would turn him into a shark uh, speaking of Donald he probably could have chose a slightly better form and we'll find out why later and goofy well he seems to have lost the use of his arms but oh well. Uh, the cool thing about Goofy though is his shield will show up on the back of his shell, so that's always nice. All right, use the left stick to swim around, press the circle button to rise, and square button to dive. Release them to stop rising or diving. Practice swimming with Flounder. Try to tag him. All right, begin. All right, so we just gotta run around and target Flounder and swim over to him. And there we go. I'm not sure if you got to attack him or not. I'm not. I'm really not sure. Uh, yeah, uh, controls in this area are not exactly the best. There we go. I think you do got to strike him because just going up to him doesn't seem to do it. All right, there's the little flipper. You'll get used to it after a while, but it's still not all that great. And I think you got to tag him like five times total. Go. Or four times. Or five times. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright, where are you at, Floundy? Where'd you go, you goofy gimp? Uh, where is this bastard? Oh, you're way up here. Okay. I guess you don't gotta strike him. Just. Will you stand still and let me finish this damn segment? Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a real good self-defense class, dude. Alright, uh, these guys, I forget their names, but uh, just wipe them out with a nice fat thunder spell, just like I did. There you go. Uh, those guys, I think, I think, actually, I looked at it. I looked at it. And they're called uh, C neons. Um, they can actually drop a Blizzaga ring, but very rarely. Let's see. I think we exam. Let's, let's talk to Ariel fast. Yeah, I don't like this world that much just because of the damn swimming mechanics. All right, we got to go uh, get these guys out of the shell. I think that save point was in the cutscene, was it? Anyways, uh, those creatures chased us here. Oh no, those monsters might be heading for the palace, too. We better head back right away. But what if we run into more on our way back? 
I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident markers on the wall point the way there. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Okay, let's get going. And Ariel is our party member for the area. So let's go ahead and switch out Goofy. Um, simply for... Actually, either one, actually, you could switch out either one. Um, I'm going to switch out Goofy because Ariel is a magic user. And you might think, oh, you should switch out Donald. That way, uh, that way we have a, a physical user and a magic user. But if we have a lot of people spamming magical attacks, it just makes everything much easier. Plus, she also makes a very good physical attacker because she has higher strength and defense than Goofy anyways. I'm not sure about her HP, but I know her, I know her, H, her attack and defense are actually higher than Goofy's. All right, so let's switch out the Goofster. All right, there we go. Yeah, she's actually a really good party member. Starts out with 6 MP, very nice. Good, uh... Good HP, not as much as Goofy, but let's check out her stats. Let's see, uh... 19 strength, 24 defense. Well, I thought she, I thought she had better strength. At least she did last time I saw her. How much, how much is Goofy's shield giving him? Oh, it's giving him a 7, that's why. I think if you give him the Night Shield, she'll only have slightly more strength than he does. But either way, either way, she's still a pretty good attacker. Let's see. Yeah, she does have better defense, though. That's, that's nice. Alright, let's check out her abilities real fast. Alright, Ariel. She has Spiral Wave. Nice physical attack. Uh, these potions right here, Thunder Cure Arrow, um... Just because they say they use potions packed with whatever magic does not mean they actually use a potion out of your inventory. That's just uh, that's just the description. So that's basically thunder spell, cure spell, arrow spell, basically. And she's got some good uh, MP abilities, MP haste, MP rage, very nice. Comes equipped with second wind, so that's also very nice. Uh, if you wanted to, you could probably get rid of second wind and put on the other MP rage, and then she would probably never die because she'd always be recovering her. MP, but we should be good. Alright, let's see. Do we, we want to put any more equipment on you? You got a bunch of protect chains. Uh, we can upgrade those, I guess, to... Let's see. Let's upgrade that one to Protera. Let's upgrade... We could get your strength up. That would lower your defense just a little bit. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That way she has a slightly better physical attack. Because I could have swore she had a better, um... A better... Physical attack, but oh well. And Thunder, uh, let's give her something else, too. Uh, let's see. How about... What should we give you here? We should give you... Yeah, let's go ahead and give her the, uh, the White Fang. That way her AP and strength go up a little bit. There we go. And abilities, let's customize her build. No, not those. Uh, the customizer, here we go. Aerial. Alright, manual, special, regular. There we go. And are you hoarding any good items to start? Yeah, you can keep them, I guess. Uh, you guys, um, yeah, you don't need those. I'm surprised I didn't use them all in the. Well, actually, wait. This is this is from my. Uh, this is this is from before I went ahead and redid the time trial since I didn't want to waste the stuff. Okay, never mind. That's why they still have it. Okay. All right, take that out. Take that out. I don't want to accidentally use all these. That's why I'm taking them all out. Let's give you high potion. High potion. And then we'll fill out the rest of the ethers. Alright. Um, let me see something here. I, I, know, I know I'm taking a lot of time here, but I'm just trying to check something. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's better. We are good to go. 
By the way, uh, dodge roll does not work underwater, um, so we can probably take that off. Uh, I forgot about that. Um, I'm trying to think what other abilities don't work underwater. Uh, dodge roll obviously is not going to work. Um, uh, I think... I'm, I'm not sure how well like sliding dash works. I, th I think it still works underwater, but I'm not really sure. And most of the other stuff should be good to stay on. Alright, so like the, like Ariel said, we can follow the tridents there to find our way to the palace. But let's go ahead and ignore those for a little bit and see if we can't find some some good uh, items around the place. Alright, so let's go in here. The Undersea Valley. And a nice little, little wavy intro. Alright, now because we are underwater, uh, there's multiple like uh, heights basically. Um, so like there might be an entrance right there, and there might be an entrance like down on the floor somewhere. So watch out for that. Alright, so you guys actually are not that bad. Let's just uh, spam a nice thunder. There we go. Ooh, frost gem. Very nice. I can use those. Yeah, luckily, luckily they do drop a good amount of MP spears. That's, that makes life nice and easy. Yeah, just trying to target everything in here can be kind of a pain in the ass. And these little these little um, clams, they're going to be treasure chests for the area, basically. Just either examine them or hit them, and you'll get your item out of it. Ooh, nice elixir. I, always, I could always use those. Let's see, this takes us somewhere, but I don't remember where. Uh, let's see, let's go over here. I already opened you, didn't I? Yeah, they do, they do reshut, so you got to watch out for that. Otherwise, you might try to reopen the same one. Luckily, locking on to a treasure chest uh, just like kind of auto targets you. You're swimming towards it, so it makes it nice and easy to actually get to them. Like you'll automatically descend toward it or or rise towards it or whatever. So that makes it nice and easy to actually get to them. All right, cottage, very nice. Those would be useful. What is this thing right here? I forgot what this does. I think it's just there for decoration, actually. All right, uh, let's see. Get a nice bird's eye view. And let's go for this little guy right here, if I can target it. There you go. Okay, fine. Screw you guys. Yeah, see, magic just makes Atlantica a lot more bearable. It's still going to be a pain in the ass, but because you can just spam a nice fat thunder spell, uh, they're all, they're all going to die much easier. Plus, you don't have to worry about getting right up in their face, so it makes it easier to just uh, get it out of the way. Alright, so for this right here, I think you actually have to uh, fire. pop a fire spell at it. Yep, there you go. If the chest, if the treasure chests are color-coded like that, you have to uh, use a spell on them. If the if the uh, clam is blue, wizard. If it's yellow, thunder. If it's red, fire. Alright, get off that, dude. I'm trying to get over here. Come here. You wanna grab it there, dude? There we go. Mega Ether. Alright, so I've opened you. I don't think I've opened you down here, have I? I don't think I did, because otherwise these guys would not have shown up. Yeah, Atlantic is just not one of the better worlds. Luckily, you can choose uh, to... If you're doing, like, a, a speedster run, um, you can choose to ignore either Atlantica or uh, Halloween Town. You only have to do one to progress the plot. I mean, if you're if you're going for all the um, if you're going for all the or if you're going for the secret ending or whatever, you still have to lock the keyhole here. But um, if you're just going to get the trophy for Speedster, which in, which makes you which, which involves uh, beating the final boss in under 15 hours, you can just ignore either one of these two worlds. And a lot of people are going to just choose to ignore Atlantic or Atlantica because it's a annoying level. You do get a few good things out of it, though, so it's not totally horrible. Let's see, where are we? We are near another trident. Yes, it's really easy to get lost in here. 
let's see, that's the way down to the palace. Um, as long as it doesn't actually... Oh yeah, that's, that's where we gotta go right there. I was gonna say, as long as it doesn't actually like force me into the, the palace section, we should be good. Uh, we're just gonna take us to... somewhere. Okay, that will also take us there to the palace, but I'm not trying to go to the palace just yet. I am trying to explore as much as I can here. By the way, there's no trinities in Atlantica, so you don't gotta worry about uh, keeping your party together for that. Okay, who's still here that I have to fight? Oh, you guys. I'm ready to go, bastard. There you go. But yeah, having an aerial in your party instead of one of your team members is a good idea just because the AI auto controls are much better than the other party members, it seems like. Alright, have I missed anything here yet? Probably. Let's see, I got you, I know that. Um, that's where we came into the area from. We got that fire shell. We got this one right here? I think we have. Got you. We got you, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we've got pretty much everything around here, so let's uh, explore some more of these uh, side areas. Hello, you guys. Alright, we need to go that way for Triton's Palace. I'm not sure if she actually said the name of it, but yeah, the name of the area we're going to is Trident's Palace. I think she just said The Palace, though. Alright, where else can we go around here? Um, uh, I've already been there. We've already been there. Uh, let's see, where is this? That takes us to the, the king. Let's see, there should be a few more areas we can explore around here. Yeah, still, a little faster. There you go. Yeah, see, the problem with the problem with the, the attacking in the, in uh, Atlantica is simply for the fact that you move so slow. You don't move as fast as well. It seems like you move slower, in my opinion. And Donald, actually, how do you? You're sitting there just staring at the dude instead of attacking him. You worthless duck. All right. Um, this is just. I think this is a different section of the calm depths. I think. Or not, okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get lost here in Atlantica, so that really sucks. Alright, I'm trying to make sure where else we can go here. Uh we got there. Let's go let's go the opposite of the way we're supposed to go. I think this just takes us back to the beginning of the area, but uh we never actually went this way, so let's just make sure we don't miss anything. I don't think we are. But we can at least heal up a little bit. Alright. I think we've explored most of that most of that little central area right there. All right, let me get a bird's eye view just to make sure. Alright, we've got those. Got over there. I think, yeah, I think we got pretty much everything in here. Um, this right here, I think this just uh, puts you up towards the uh, top right there. Uh, we got you. We got you. Yeah, we've got pretty much everything in here. Yeah, that goes back there. Alright, so let's just go on, on our way to the uh, palace then, I guess. Alright, these, these strong currents, if you swim into them, it'll just automatically sweep you along and you gotta uh, try to get into the uh, passageways right here. Um, I forget what goes on out there. 
You know, let's see what goes on out here. Did that just take me back here? Yeah, it took me back over somewhere. Oh, down here, okay. Right. Where are our tridents? Are over here somewhere, I do believe? Oh, there it is. Wrong way. Donald sure looks happy to be a half octopus in his little portrait there. Hello, search ghosts. Thunder. 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 Oh, come here, you little bastards. Thunder. All right, where else can we go around here? We got... What are these things, anyways? I forget what those things do. Oh, these things right here. Uh, use gravity on them, I think. Or not. Um, I could have swore there was something to do with you guys. Uh, let's try a uh, fire spell. Blizzard. Thunder. Okay, I don't know what to do with these things. I could have swore it was a gravity spell, but uh, I guess not. Alright, let's just ignore that damn thing then, since I thought you could do something with it, but, uh... Oh, well. Let's see, can we... Oh, wait. That takes us back out to the top of the, um... Uh, of the, uh... Well, that's the little thing in the center of the area above us, so let's not go in there. Let's go to the Undersea Cave. Are you serious? I don't have any... Oh, you know what? I have ethers. Alright, so these guys, notice how they're standing still? That is for the stop spell, and, um, notice how they're all standing still? Uh, this is, this is, um, an area where you can meet up with one of the final mixed heartlesses, uh, called the Pink Agraricus. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but, all, when it, uh, this guy also shows up in Deep Jungle, the treehouse. Uh, when you walk in, you're going to see these guys um, standing still by themselves like this. And what you want to do is you want to cast Stop on them. And then the uh, there, there's going to be a giant pink mushroom that looks kind of like these guys that's going to show up. And you're going to want to cast Stop on that and then attack it as much as you can. And after the Stop wears off, it'll count the amount of hits that you did. And the more hits that you did, uh, the better the rewards that it gets for you. Um, getting a hundred hits gets a special reward. Um, I don't think it really does anything. I think it's more aesthetic than anything. But getting a hundred hits does uh, gets you a good reward. However, uh, with the amount of MP that we have right now, um, stop. By the way, uh, this dura its duration depends on how much maximum MP you have. The more more maximum MP you have, the longer the duration lasts. And for one, we don't have enough time on our stop spell right now. To get a whole lot of hits, at least not anywhere near the max. Um, and for two, when your party members attack the Pick of Gracchus, that decreases your hit count, I do believe. For every hit they do, it, it decreases by one hit, I think. I mean, we can try right now, but we're not going to get a we're not going to get a very high score here. All right, good. You're at least going to give me MP. I could always use that. All right, how about you? Let's uh, stop on you. Are you are you not opening because there's an enemy in the area? Yeah, I think you are. Okay. All right. Uh, there you are. You're up here. Magic. Stop you. And yeah, dealing with the pink Agaricus dude will be much easier in in uh, the deep jungle. All right. So cast top on him, and then. Attack them as much as you can, pretty much, basically. Uh, we're gonna get um, abilities that do a lot of hits in a short amount of time, and that'll make it a lot easier. But for now, let's just uh, see what we got here. We got a whole 14 hits, pretty much. So, yeah. 
Not great. But yeah, we're gonna get uh, more abilities like Strike Raid or um, or Sonic uh, Sonic uh, Blade or whatever that uh, will do a lot of hits in a short amount of time, and that'll make it easier to actually um, get the higher score uh, skills. The only problem is because in Final Mix. The triangle button activates a lot of your special skills, like uh, secondary effects or whatever. Like for Strike Raid, you gotta press it again to rethrow the Keyblade. Uh, triangle is also connected to making your allies attack, and like I said, that makes your hit count go down. So that kind of sucks. So at Deep Jungle, there's a way to get your allies stuck, so they're not in the, uh, so that way they can't attack the Pinkerericus while you're attacking them. Um, and that's what we're gonna have to do in order to get the full hits. All right, let's open you back up. Nope. Seven. All right, we got. Come here. All right, cottage, very nice. All right, and there is our palace. All right, up, 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 and away. Hello, fellas. Alright, there should be something around here for us to do, but he doesn't appear to be showing up just yet. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Let's, uh, well, kill you, I guess. Thank you. Alright, treasure chest. Alright, you, I believe, we gotta open the blizzard. Sir, thank you. We got Mithril Shard. Okay, I can use that. Not right away, but at some point. Okay, I'm not trying to attack the treasure chest. I'm trying to attack the uh, enemy here. Uh, anybody else? Yeah. Of course there's other people here. Of course there's. Come here, little knuckle. Ooh. I'm kind of used to pressing the square button to uh, the dodge roll to go a little faster. So I keep pressing that to like try to get to these guys a little faster, and it just makes me sink, and that depresses me. Alright, who's still here? Oh, you. Hey, make it potion. Very nice. Alright, you. Come on. Come here. There you go. Mega Ether. Alright, lots of Mega stuff. Alrighty, uh, let's see. We are. Where did we come from? We came from. Over somewhere. We came from over here, right? Yeah, okay, we came from over here with the blue blizzard shell. Let's see, that's where we enter the area. I don't think there's a whole lot of... Yeah, there's nothing up here. Um, does this take us anywhere? I don't remember. I think it does. Where does it take us? It takes us to the Undersea Garden. That, was that where we just were? Oh, never... Where is this? Is anything even happening here? I have no idea what this area area is for. Except for this treasure chest right here, I guess. Come on. There you go. Make a potion. Is that really all this in this area right here? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. Um... You know what, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here, because we still got a lot of Atlantica, Atlantica to explore. So uh, next time, we'll continue exploring the undersea world of Atlantica. So guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.